Hey everyone, welcome back to Living Faith Homestead and welcome to my first episode of Shed Wars. I am on Team Woodcutter, so if you all want to join, go over and um, check out his Facebook page, Arkansas Woodcutter, and join our team. So we woke up this morning to a bunch of snow. And I don't think it's melting off today. It's only supposed to be like 36. And um, all week looks crappy. The overnights are low and the daytime highs are like 40s. So yeah, not too wonderful. So I guess the first thing that I'll do is show you our shed. Okay guys, so here is our shed, which is actually a tractor trailer box. So mostly it's my husband's shed, but I keep my garden tools in here too, so I call it mine. So anyway, um, he has all kinds of everything that you need for fixing anything in here. All kinds of junk, tools, shelves everywhere. He's even got his own little personal desk, TV. And he's a scrapper, so he's got lots of wire. Just all kinds of stuff. But anyway, you could fit a lot of stuff in here, as you can see. But anyway, that's our shed. All right, guys, so despite all this snow that we have today, I was able earlier in the week to get some gardening done, and I'm going to show you that now. All right, guys, today is Wednesday, May 6th, and today I've been outside most of the day, and I've spent, um, a big part of my day cleaning out this row here. This is where I'm going to plant carrots, which I'm going to plant them tomorrow. And then in here, I planted a few strawberries in there. And then I got containers. I don't know why I'm going to plant in there just yet. I got more strawberries coming up. They're starting to come up. So back along this fence, today I had planted more peas, some lettuce, some Swiss chard, and um, something else, I can't remember. But I did start a few peas inside, so those are looking pretty good. So I put in lots of pea plants, so I'm hoping to have lots of peas this year have some garlic coming up and what I've really spent most of my day doing is actually transplanting strawberries from the main part of the garden over there which is kind of messy over into here into the new part of the garden I started last year transplanting these strawberries so there are lots of strawberry plants in here I got more over here. These are the new ones I planted today. Some are just last year's um, runners. You get a lot of runners off from these strawberry plants. Because every year, each one of these strawberry plants can put off up to 10 runners. So that's 10 new baby plants that you can get every year off just one strawberry plant. So that is really, really awesome. More strawberries, more strawberries. So that's the, that will be the first of our harvest this year, which will be probably the end of June, middle of June. And this bed here is just garlic. And that is coming up really nicely. I've also pulled up two five gallon buckets of weeds out of the garden today that I'm going to give to the chickens. Out in the yard, just 
I'm just going to give them their weeds. Here they come, they're looking for it. Yep, it is Saturday, May 8th, and my garden is completely covered in snow. So this kind of really sucks. But it's not unusual for this time of year. And even though I live in zone 4B, we can still produce a lot of food. It just takes a lot more planning. And um, basically most of your harvest comes in at the same time. This is where my strawberries are over here on this side of the garden. And there is my garlic buried in the snow. So basically here in um, the end of May, hopefully, is when I plant my tomatoes out and then the first week of June I plant my peppers out. And usually get a really good harvest in October. I'm getting pumpkins and September usually squash is ready to harvest. So basically a lot of stuff is getting done in September, which is a really big month for, um, you know, canning and dehydrating and harvesting. We got probably about two inches of snow, three inches of snow, which is better than the six to eight inches that they were telling us we could have gotten. So I guess we got to be thankful for that, right? And cucumbers, cucumbers I usually plant out as soon as I know the frost is going to be gone, probably like the end of May. We usually don't plant till like after Memorial Day or usually that weekend I'm usually planting. But um, last year I got tons and tons of cucumbers out of here. And here's just a picture of um, a part of my cucumber crop from last year. So just because you live in a colder climate, like me in zone 4B, you can grow a large amount of food. All right, so my peppers and tomatoes are all still inside because it is way too cold to put them into the greenhouse just yet. And they are looking good for this time of year. I got all kinds of them. I probably got like a, like a hundred tomatoes, a hundred pepper plants that I'm going to put in. And I started some sunflowers. They're just coming up. Some more tomatoes over here. I've been working on potting all my pepper plants up. I still have a lot to do. And um, this is one that I potted up that's looking great and will produce a ton of peppers. More peppers, lots of pepper plants. So this is just a tray of um, cucumbers that I had just recently started, so they're not up just yet. So another great way that you can produce your own food is to get yourself some chickens. They make great compost, they make great fertilizer for your garden, they make, um, they will clear your weeds for you in no time flat, and they also give you great eggs. Okay everyone, that's the end of my first video for Shed Wars and I encourage you to join us, Team Woodcutter. Don't forget, Team Woodcutter. Have a great day everyone.